Welcome to Louisville Life, KET's weekly magazine show coming to you from West Main Street. I'm your host, Candace Clift. Because of the abundance of clay in this region, Louisville has a long history of pottery making. One of the most recognizable brands began with Mary Alice Hadley. In the 1930s, Mary began making dishware to use on her Ohio River houseboat. Her whimsical designs became so popular that a business emerged, Hadley Pottery. Hadley Pottery began, Mrs. Hadley started making ware for herself. She was actually making it a Louisville pottery and they were firing it for her and then I believe some of her friends saw it, she made it for them and then the word got out so she ended up opening her own pottery here. It's 1570 Story Avenue, it's right beside 64 so it's easy to get to and it, it dates back to 1847. I think her first pattern was the blue horse and she had a brown fleck that we no longer make. And then the country came on pretty quickly and it's been our most popular for a long, forever now. <laughs> the basic body is a clay from Clay City, Indiana, which is outside Terre Haute, where she happened to be born. We actually have it on site now because the mine closed down several years ago and we have it in the field outside. We add a few things to it to help it stretch and get a little more strength, but it's basically a native clay. Well, we have three, three processes. We have a ram press, or it's a hydraulic press, where we actually use a die and compress the piece. That's more of the flat pieces. We also hand jigger, where the men have to fill the mold by hand. You have a shoe that comes down to take the excess out. It's a pottery mold, so that absorbs the water out and lets the piece dry a little shrink away where you can remove it. From the, the other one is slip casting, where we use it in liquid state and you fill the mold. But it has to be finished, all the edges and blemishes have to be taken off and has to be dried. We usually dry everything for a week or more because you have to get it dry before it goes in the kiln or it would explode when you were heating up in the kiln. So we have to dry it out pretty thoroughly and then the decorators decorate directly on there. We only, we're one time firing, some people fire twice. We fire once so the, the, as they decorate you can see it absorbing into the piece. It's below the surface, you're never going to chip it off. You'll actually have to chip a piece of clay out to get the glaze off. It's actually bonded inside. I'm a, a pottery decorator. I've always liked to draw anyway and paint. I was artistic and it's, sometimes it just doesn't feel like a job. It's, you know, it's just, it's, I really enjoy it. This will be a, a child's plate and uh, it'll pro usually they'll have two or three names on it and I, haven't put the guidelines on, but here's the guidelines. You have to put two lines, and I've already signed it, and then I'll just start putting the name on. So, like that. And the boy, uh, child's plate has a, the little boy on a horse, and the girl's plate is just a little girl standing under a tree. So, I think they're really cute. <laughs> If you pick a pig up off the shelf and pick another pig off the shelf, they're not going to be identical because they weren't stamped on there. Even the same decorator is just going to have a little bit different stroke. And some people do that. You see some of the women come in here and they sit on the floor pulling the ware, laying them out, deciding which one they like best. And so that, that makes it unique there. It doesn't look like it's just been stamped, 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 coming out, everything exactly the same. It's, it's hand painted. I think we have 21, maybe 22 different patterns now. Some of them are strictly a one pattern, like the blue horse is blue horse, that's it. Bouquet is, some of them have four scenes, some of them have six scenes. The country has 16 different scenes. Well, we ship all over the country. I, there's around 250 shops that carry us around the country, and we now have our own website. We've had that for about two years now. We sell on the web, and so we're doing quite good on the web. You know, at different parts of the country, we sell the different scenes. That's where they come in. Like if you're on the, we have a beach scene now with the umbrella and chair, we have palm trees. We have an anchor and lighthouse for people up in the East Coast. So we even have a crab and lobster now for up so. And you can sort of tell where it's going to, what those people relate to. 
they're for everyday use. I, I assume some people do just buy one or two pieces and have them on display, like the child's plates and stuff like that, because we do a lot of personalized stuff. But the dinnerware is everyday use. I've used it my whole life. Like it's sort of a family business forever, even though the Hadleys themselves had no children. It was mostly a half a dozen families that did it all, and it's still today that's the people that are in the building. I'm here basically because my dad and my granddad was here. My granddad was at Louisville Pottery when Mrs. Hadley came over here, and she got him to come with her and run this pottery bar. My dad started at that time. My granddad actually retired when Mrs. Hadley died in 65. My dad stayed on until 90. He retired in 1990, and then I took over as the head person. But I came in 74, and so yeah, so my family's been here. I was here as a little kid in the building, so I've been involved in it my whole life. Hadley Pottery produces those thousands of pieces with a small staff. Only 22 employees work in the building that has housed the business since 1944. Hadley Pottery offers tours of its production facility Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. unless the temperature rises above 85 degrees.